fucking concept on a shirt. Look, when's the last time you saw me wearing that shirt? Yeah, no one should wear it. You should give money but back. But I still appreciate it as a shirt. Yeah, but my point is you guys push them through. Look. Yeah, man. If I was somewhere and I bought that it's shirt. It's cool. Uh, all I ever wanted was like a Miles Morales t-shirt. You couldn't make that work. But you have a fucking Breakfast Club shirt and a stupid Ninja Turtle shirt. There's a good amount of the Breakfast Club shirt. Not a good amount, but online, like Redbubble, they do actually, it does all right. A lot of stickers. I'm glad you were making money. How about you help me boost our Facebook for once? We got like 30 cents for stickers. <laughs> I don't care. I didn't even pay for the hosting that I paid for. Oh, shit. What? I spoiled that. What is hosting a month? $10? Yeah. I'm spending a lot more than that every month. I'll tell you that. On what? Fucking boosting our Facebook shit. We should, be, we should split that then. I know, but you're too busy like, hey, man. <laughs> what was... We need like a Wayne's World t-shirt, where it's like Lil Wayne, but he's wearing I like- I haven't suggested a shirt in <laughs> fucking a long time. <coughs> Everyone hated that shirt, Taylor. I hope you're talking about the Ninja Turtles one. Which one? He just said I hated that one, I, and I hope he means the fucking Ninja Turtles one. Hey. We sold some. Is there any shirt we didn't sell? No, I don't think so. Probably the E-Honda shirt. It was, that was a great concept with terrible art. Really? I like that shirt. It's just a really racist caricature. And it says e <laughs> <laughs> Trash. I think we sold a decent amount of those, didn't we? Honestly, you know what the fucking best shirt? <laughs> the other good shirt? And it's some of the best artwork is Bruce Wayne needs therapy. But fucking... I feel I like it never sold very well. No, it didn't sell well because all fucking Batman fans are just utter chodes. <laughs> Bruce Wayne's the best. Because he knows karate. <laughs> he can beat every member of the Justice League. He has an <laughs> extensive dossier. And, like, ugh, just shut up about Bruce Wayne already. Jesus. Like they couldn't be... They, you couldn't take themselves too seriously to enjoy the shirt? I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's cool artwork, and I think it's funny. Isn't that enough? Yeah, you think so. Did Taylor answer what shirt he was talking about? Can you see over there? Yes. Oh, God, that shirt... Hey Taylor, fuck you. Like, even like in Abrams we trust, like who fucking care? Like, who, what are we doing <laughs> I mean, here? I think you're just talking about not caring about t-shirts in general as much. Don't you think that's part of No, because I like cool t-shirts. Yeah, but like, like lame pop culture ones. But I, dude, I really like like my John Work versus everybody shirt. Come up some different ideas then. I'm just not inspired. I don't care about pop culture anymore. It's been ruined. <laughs> I mean, I do. I, do you know what I mean? Like, I used, I used to be like, get a charge. I used to get a little, yeah, a little boner. I think you mean. We saved at least. Oh, that's right. We did save, huh? Do you want to play? You want to stuff your face? I mean, I want to stuff my face. But All right, I'll play. You upstep shares. That's it. It's cool. I don't think the color it was printed on the Yubstep shirt. Oh, like the tan? Tan it, color? Yeah. Who the fuck wears tan shirts? I don't know. Did you determine that color? I mean, probably. I think... Uh... You know what I say to my students sometimes when they're, when they're writing? <laughs> what? And it's a good reminder. If you ever have to write regardless of level, it's a little thing. It seems obvious, but it's not. Remember that someone has to read your paper. There's a reader coming to this paper. Which you don't really think about sometimes. Yeah. It's like good. it's being produced to be read. Right. You know what you didn't do? You didn't say, someone has to wear this shirt. <laughs> Someone's gonna wear this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna wear I mean, I guess we all wore the tan shirt. People did wear it. People bought it. The fucking but I agree with you. It's not the turtle color. shirt was like super dark too. Yeah, I didn't like the color green in that shirt. I would wear a green shirt if it was the right shirt. Yeah. I saw my favorite color though. I don't like I don't like the fabric that the ghost shirt we bought I bought was. Really? I don't like like super like thick like coarse shirts. Yeah. I know. We actually had like decent quality shirts. I feel like they were more comfortable than the fucking like half the band shirts I buy. Or wrestler shirts. Right? Yeah, I would say. I don't know, okay. They're not like as good as like the real I guess he doesn't have the room to bring the really nice, like, fabric and alternate, you know, but... Taylor hated the color on the Yumstep shirt. This level sucks. Sucks as much as that damn shirt. <laughs> right! 
I traveled through space and time, and all I got was a sports almanac, or whatever the fuck that shirt was. That's a good one. Ah, oh, stupid. Not a mashup. It's just part of my larger concern about, like, the permanent adolescence we live in. Superhero movies. What you, what mashup TV. Our culture? Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, let's grow up a little bit. We don't you feel like that? That's just like a. Is it any worse than it once was, or it's just we just have the superhero movies to put that into now? But yeah, I don't are we know. less? We could definitely indulge it in a lot more ways now. Whenever yeah. you indulge something, I'd say it probably like, exacerbates it. Is that positive reinforcement? I, mean, I think about that the movies in general all the time. Honestly, what? I don't just sit there. And I'm like, I feel ridiculous. That guy gets me every time. Yeah, he's... It's tricky. <laughs> I felt fucking. I never sit there and you're just like, I'm just this big. We're in this big, big room, put on these glasses, like, ooh, like I just someone's like, oh, it's no surprise it's that just, our culture's over. But like, we're just, just distracted. Like we're just we have no regard for reality. No, and no. I'm there too. So yeah, I was saying about taking it. I get the stop button. I think it's the stop button you hit. If you had other shit, it just delays it. But I do have that thought sometimes. Yeah, pushing the just wrong stuffing, button. Stuffing, like these popcorn, like butter on it, just stuffing it in our Listen, face, man. watching the screen. It's, it's like, okay to play. It. It's okay to play in castles in the sand. Just can't live there. <laughs> so Neil Postman said, amusing ourselves to death. The problem is we live there now. I'm yeah. gonna get out of the T-shirt. I'm gonna get the fucking cup. I'm gonna get my Funko Pops. I'm gonna fucking. I, I got an iPhone skin that's uh, Darth Vader, and I got Darth Vader cheese its uh, it's gone, gone too far. My God. I'm guilty too. It's easy to fall into the trap. And then when you go online, I'm going to fucking fight about it. I'm going to fight about the quality of a moron movie. <laughs> you thought that moron movie was better than this moron movie? <laughs> moron movie. No, this collection of special effects and generic plot points is like... <laughs> yeah, like why? <laughs> it is ridiculous waste any amount of energy arguing about it. It's just, like, people who are like, yeah. Same thing with people who like, fight about, like, video game systems, okay. <laughs> people get, like, really, like, tied into their identity at some point, right? Same thing with, like, a sports team we were talking about, yeah. like, they don't care about you. They're fun. I love sports. I watch hours of it every week, but, like, I'm not gonna get pissed off. Well, I'm gonna try and not get pissed <laughs> off. It's like a mental problem. So I know I shouldn't. I think sometimes you just... <sighs> I think it really comes down to just we we struggle as human beings with filling this sort of void that's left with like not really having... Not that like we're meant to struggle, but you know what I mean? Like we're not really built to like live in this type of world biologically. So I think we just sort of like... It's easy to fall victim to these things because they take advantage of like... Every time! <laughs> Sorry. I know you're trying to be profound. All I want is that fucking... <laughs> Piranha to not hey, eat my tits. More important than being profound is being this level. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. What do you mean? You don't know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're saying. Okay, so like, I feel like we don't really have. Oh my god, I died. <laughs> Clearly, you can't be profound and fucking <laughs> play Donkey Kong. Um, Dranky King. His name is Dranky King. Uh huh. So we don't have to worry about a lot of things, right? We don't have to worry uh, about like foraging for food. We don't have to really worry about survival. We don't have to. Well, it's the same principle as I don't know who we are. You and I don't. It's the same principle as sugary things, right? Oh my like God. the reason why we're biologically programmed to like love sugar, like something like ice cream, is because it's like so calorically dense. And historically, we would have like finding that in the wild would have been a jackpot because like calories were hard to come by. But in our world, when they're not hard to come by, it works against us because we can so easily. And I feel like the same thing works for everything: entertainment, like excitement. Our, our world makes it so easy to consume it in such a massive scale all the time that like our biology is telling us to do it because again that works in a different system but in our system we just end up overindulging and fucking ourselves took you that long to say that dude what do you mean that we really <laughs> like it and it's fucking bad for us but biologically we like it didn't man. take that long you're you, such a prick you did some good work there you're such a prick you're you, such a fucking you're a hater don't be negative I am a hater go be negative Oof. Good job. You know what I've noticed? Oh, I, uh... If I like something, I don't hate on it. But when I hate something, I just really hate it with, like... 
Yeah, you the go passion back. of a thousand burning suns. It's true. Well, this this guy. What is, what's propelling this? <laughs> Some unknown force. Yeah, but you know, by default, you always you'll just you just <laughs> you you trash whatever I say. You know that, right? Uh. Most of what you say is garbage. <laughs> but I don't think you really <laughs> think that. You just by default, that's just what you I do. mean, you were kind of long-winded there. Okay. Long-winded is different than fucking... You, you were long-winded. You, you don't have to be so fucking critical. Jeez, relax. I'm just, sorry I was a little long-winded. I just thought you were long-winded. and you were, I, I wouldn't you, even dispute you were, that. You were delivering something of relative obviousness with the import that you were telling me. Like you How about you just take him what I said? Come up with another thought to add to it or whatever, and put it on. So just insulting my delivery. You got a lot of yes men in your life, huh? I don't have enough yes men in my life. All <laughs> I have is people give me shit at every fucking turn. <laughs> every fucking turn. <laughs> Place is really bumming me out. Donkey Kong, you know. It's really just like all about climate change, you know. He's swimming, he's swimming like a contaminated lake. It's all green. Yeah, he's fuck, He's getting fucked up. Monsanto's been dumping in this fucking... Alright. Alright! <laughs> not me. That's not good for me right now. This is a real struggle. For you? This level. It's the whole world we're in. I guess this is the level. What would you call it in the world? Yeah, the world. What do you call the entire thing, then? I don't know. World? <laughs> So it's the map, world map level. I don't know. Where can I get Diddy Kong? <laughs> Diddy Kong, where you at? I need to get Diddy Kong. <laughs> I need to get Diddy Kong. God damn it. <sighs> you can play again. Talking shit about you in chat. Don't do that. Say it out loud. So <laughs> Bateman only really spent time choosing the colors for his Vanity Project t-shirts. <laughs> really fucked the rest of us. <laughs> Shut up. We're gonna pack up about three thousand uh, breakfast color t-shirts and <laughs> smuggle them over the border. <laughs> You get women to control. Is he there right? You get women to control with him. Suck it. Yeah, plus you can smoke fucking piranhas. They go up here? Yeah. You wanted to show off that you've been to a nutritionist. nutritionist. Well, calorically speaking, the reason biologically you enjoy it. I haven't been to a nutritionist. I just know that. You, where'd you learn it? I just knew Joe it. Rogan? I put it together myself. So you don't even know if that's fucking true? Yeah, that's what I've heard before, too. Jesus Christ. But I have had that thought. I don't even believe it now. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't care what you believe. <laughs> Didn't even have to kill him, but I said, Fuck you. Which way am I going here? That's a good fucking question. Right? Well. Mm. Oh, what is this? Oh no. That's your grundle getting just ruinated. Go get your fucking friend. He's gone now. I don't feel like their swimming form is as effective as it could be. What do you mean? Oh, look look at how they swim. 